Okay folks, we have to start off by saying that we may have been mistaken when we said that there was absolutely nothing to this uh, data blackout that we see here um, on the right in the middle of the 17th on just about every data feed on Harp. I know that you can see straight lines going across, but that's just how they fill in the empty data. Uh, this happened on the induction magnetometer as well. This is actually from the 16th. They, uh, you can't see anything from the 17th right now. But we thought, if anything, uh, all those frequencies being picked up on the induction magnetometer were probably just regular uh, frequency uh, wave propagation going through our atmosphere, not weather modification. Uh, but we did think it was part of the cause of this radar ring outbreak. You guys need to learn the difference between this theory and what Dutchson says. But getting back to uh, the mistake we may have made, take a look at the uh, mild amount of pressure, uh, but more than we would have expected, uh, that our magnetosphere is under right now. Um, we don't really have a good explanation for this, um, but it's pretty interesting that the data blackouts, uh, the frequencies picked up on the induction magnetometer, and uh, the strange... Uh, activity and pressure in the magnetosphere all happened at the same time. Coming over to the RSOE, we had a 4.6 earthquake in Washington today. That's big for that part of the world, now let's watch out. Now the Caribbean plate is under an unusual geological event warning, and folks remember even before that we were saying watch the Caribbean plate and over to the left, the Cocos plate, they're both uh, should be on watch right now. Uh, more earthquakes uh, under El Hierro, and they're actually worried about some new volcanic vents opening up. Uh, earthquakes really all over the Atlantic Ocean and the uh, Katla volcano watch is back on. A uh, great article here about a black hole and star companion uh, that is in our galaxy. Uh, pretty good article, you should give it a read, uh, especially uh, because uh, there's a reason uh, for Stephen Hawking to eat his words. Uh, there are some spectacular photos uh, from that huge storm on Saturn, and probably the best news article of the day about the sun, they're saying that uh, we may absolutely go back into a solar maximum again. So. Uh, thank you guys, we really appreciate that. Uh, looking at the sun now, which has actually been kind of inactive for the last couple of days, these filaments aren't really doing a whole lot, but we have kind of erupted uh, today with a bunch of coronal mass ejections, and just uh, right and down from the center of the solar disk, we have a minor coronal mass ejection that comes off at the sun. Well, as you watch here, uh, right there, that dark spot, that's the coronal mass ejection, and CMEs come all off the sun. It's as if the sun woke up all of a sudden and said, everybody out of the pool. You can look here on Soho Lasco C3. You can see all of a sudden, boom, boom, uh, they came off of everywhere. The one that you see coming off there off the bottom right it does appear to be small, but maybe earth directed. Coming here and looking at the, uh, the northeastern limb, we do have a fairly uh, complex looking region coming in from the uh, magnetogram. It looks like it may be labeled uh, beta gamma when they get a chance to look at it. So here, there it is, folks. Uh, that's what we're looking at today, and uh, we promise at some point this weekend we'll try to figure out uh, what's going on with the uh, magnetosphere and that uh, wave propagation. Be safe, everyone.